I do. Like I, so um, even though the professional writing skills class is where I have like a much more substantial unit on uh, mindfulness at the beginning of every course that I teach, I usually have some, it's kind of like the orientation to the class. It kind of, I try to set this, st- set the tone with um, discussions of empathy. I, I, sh- I usually share like, there's two TED talks that I usually share. And one is um, the Muslim on the airplane, which is TEDx talk and um, the danger of a single story. And both of those are basically saying like the importance of curiosity and the importance of not assuming that one single story you've heard about a person represents, you know, the whole of that person or of a group of people. So I think like, um, but I usually share that story of myself too, which um, as part of that unit of like empathy, curiosity, things like that, where I remind people, um, that's part of reminding them A, about curiosity, like being curious about what's happening with your classmates, um, but be the power of kindness, what that can mean to someone, you know, and sometimes they want to, like, I didn't, I didn't tell that person back then what it meant to me, but it still meant that much to me nonetheless. So, yeah. The, the reason why it's a technical question. So here's the, the technical part of it is <laughs> what happens when you have a student again, they just have to listen to the same story again. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, <laughs> that's a good so question. The reason why I ask is that I don't like I. I guess I get I get self conscious of like sharing um repeat stuff mm-hmm. in my classes, you know, because like I have so many students who take multiple classes from me, and I'm so like I feel like I should tell you this because I think it's important for you to understand where I'm coming from. But at the same time, I get self-conscious because I, if you've taken a class from me before, then you've already heard this, you know? Um, so like, how do you, how do you just <laughs> do that? I feel like you can just say like, you know, and some, and I can say, and some of you may have heard this before, like preface it with that. But I feel like what, because I tell, it is a, it is a vulnerable thing to share a story. And I feel like usually the students who take, I guess that maybe it's not all the case, all, all, always the case that if someone takes a class with you again, it's because they like you as an instructor, but that's often been the case with, with me, I guess. So it's kind of like, I already feel, I guess, somewhat of a sense of trust because usually they've even expressed to me afterwards or something that that they that they do it. But I also feel like some stories are worth worth repeating you know like some you know and I think uh reminders like think about movies that you really like when I literally like movie I'll sometimes watch it once a year you know (laughs) because they're they're worth um they're worth saying again I guess but I mean there's always gonna be that one person who might be kind of I guess unfriendly and say (laughs) say why are you saying this again or something like that but to me, it's worth, I don't know, worth risk, I guess, so. Yeah, I should just let go of that self-consciousness. Yeah, I def- I tend to worry too much about what people think, and I'm trying to work on that. It's, it's hard, like, um, and I, because it's like, you can't, it's like reading course evaluations. There's always that one, <laughs> or there's often that one person who's just like, and then you like fixate on that, or at least I do <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. So. 